everyone and welcome to Backseat Sports. I'm Josh and that is Caleb and we're back at it again in the same room. We're doing an exciting video. We're very excited about this video. The top 10 plays of the decade for Nebraska football and we're in, we're continuing the series. Last video we did the top saddest <laughs> yeah, worst moments, moments of the decade and the one before that we did the top 10 players of the decade. So we're kind of going all over the decade. So this one's way, way more fun to watch. We're going to get a relive some of the best highlights that we've got to see. Oh, We're just going to briefly talk about it and let you just watch and enjoy some Nebraska <laughs> Cornhusker goodness. But with that said, let's hop into number 10, which is Andy Janovich hustling and bustling against Wisconsin for a 55-yard touchdown. Go ahead, touchdown with three minutes left. What else can you say? So with that said, let's roll the clip. Andy Janovich. Crosses in. They give it to Janovich, and he powers for a first down and more. There goes Andy Janovich. His first career touchdown will tie the game. What a run from Andy Janovich there, smashing Wisconsin. That's nice to see. And on to number nine, a personal favorite of mine. This one is extra spicy. And personal. Yes. It's very personal. This yes. is how everybody felt. Kenny Bell lays it to the Wisconsin defender. We're down by 39 points in this game and Jamal Turner takes it to the house. You it's clean. It's a clean block. You've definitely seen it before, but let's roll it because it's nasty. Kenny Bell's block. Let's go. For the Campbell Award. Meaning the academic Heisman is presented by the National Football Foundation. Martinez to throw it over the middle. He finds Jamal Turner. And oh, what a block! Kenny Bell! Turner! Touchdown Nebraska! That's the best block we've seen this year. Flag on the play. That's football. Charles, that's football. I'm having what is he supposed to do? I'm having trouble absorbing that one because that's a guy chasing a ball carrier. Oh my goodness, bro. Ah! Mm. Kenny Bell laid it on him. And what's great about that is when you search like best football hits ever, that's on the it's on the it shows up every time. Every time. So Kenny Bell made the history books with that hit and 100% right. one of the top 10 plays. Not even a defensive player lays the absolute wood. Exactly. And that uh, also respect to Jamal Turner there cuz it was a nice run from Jamal. Mm -hmm. A nice play from him, nice throw from Taylor. Should have been a touchdown. Taylor Martinez. Awesome play. And on to number eight. Oh my goodness, man. Ugh. Brandon Riley comes in at number eight against Michigan State. The out of bounds play that Michigan State probably still complains about today, but the, the call comes in. He was forced out of bounds. Fans go crazy. Brandon Riley comes in at number eight. Let's watch the clip. 23 seconds left. Armstrong. And the receiver was out of bounds. He caught it. It's a touchdown, but he stepped out. Was he pushed out? That'll be the question. He's not, he's not pushing him out of bounds. He clearly just runs out of bounds. The receiver was forced out of bounds. Came back here and established himself as a player. So they ruled that he was forced out of bounds, and it's a touchdown for Nebraska. What a touchdown. I wanted to leave, but I stayed in the stadium. There just literally wasn't <laughs> enough time left without them getting penalties on themselves. They delay of game themselves, and half of the fans that were still at Memorial Stadium and the student section, it was ruckus. Oh, my word. I flipped out. So that brings us to number seven. Coming in at number seven, we have the Levante David strip to start the Ohio State comeback in 2011. <sighs> And man, we just, mm, what a player. It was like the most needed play ever. We were down 27 to six in the third quarter and Levante just says, that's mine. And the momentum shifts. Yeah, it does. And that brings us to the clip. Let's roll it. There with the Raiders. Popton off the field now, third down and five. Miller after the fake, great move behind the line of scrimmage. And he has the first down, the ball's out. And it looks like Ohio State, no, they say David got the football. Thrown 23, their first of the night. Watch Braxton Miller make a miss, miss tackle right there. And then Levante David just, just stole it, it right away. out of him, right out of his hands. And that's a legitimate play. He's not down, he just pulls it out. Guys, Levante David is good at football. Yes, he is. <laughs> so, I Enough mean, he said. takes the ball. <laughs> makes the plays, and that leads us right into number six. At number six, Rex Burkett. With the little juke skis on Ohio State, it's glorious. 
He absolutely takes the socks off him. Let's watch it. Martinez with Simon after him. Dumps it off. Burke had a nice move. Burke had up the sideline. Touchdown! This game. Well, we gave, there were two, two elements in this anatomy of this touchdown, and the first one is right here. It's going to be Taylor Martinez buying time. Looks down the field, comes back the other way, and his ability to buy that little bit of time, and then Burkhead is point number two. He just makes a miss, like we talked about. Christian Bryant, he uses his speed against him, and then takes it in to the end zone. Oh my gosh, guys. Rex Burkhead, the Jukes. Mm. And tying up the game for Nebraska, allowing the comeback to be a reality. How did Ohio State's defender, like, hits the ground and just, like, like bounces? Yeah, it's... Oh, it's glorious. It's beautiful. It's a sight to see. It's exactly what Nebraska loves to see. And that brings us right in to number five. So Jordan Westerkamp comes in at number five, and uh, it's dubbed the Wester Catch. Good reason. It wins <laughs> It wins the SB for most outstanding play. Uh, he proved he had eyes in the back of his head, and his hands were made of gold. It was perfect. Yep, so with that said, let's just show the clip, the behind-the-back catch from Jordan Westerkamp. <laughs> Keep them confident that they can try to stop Nebraska's deep their offense right now. And Amir Abdullah running the football all over the place. Third down at six. Armstrong for Wester Camp again. And he caught it behind his back. Unbelievable. Wester Camp's a magician as he pulls it in at the 48 for the first down. Wow. And to keep his feet in bounds at the same time. catch right there the magician man behind the back doing wonders obviously some of the best hands Nebraska football has seen in the last decade Western camp 100% deserving the top five spot on the list and at number four now the biggest play in quite some time for Nebraska football it can't get much longer than this the 99 yard touchdown from Tommy Armstrong to Qu Quincy and Nunwa in the bowl game against Georgia and uh, another incredible amazing Nebraska play let's watch and they want to throw. What a play call. Anunwa. He's going to go 99 yards. Holy cow, what a call. So from third and 14 at the one yard line to a 99 yard touchdown in the end zone. Unreal. You, got, you love to see it as a Husker fan. And that takes us right in to number three. Number three, you know and love it. You knew this had to be on the list. None other than the Ron Kellogg III, the man, the myth, the legends, Hail Mary Pass, to a guy who's already been on this list with golden hands, <laughs> Jordan Westerkamp. Yeah. And this really starts off the etho, you know, just the, the myth, the, the, the majesty of Westerkamp. It just, uh -huh. It's, mm, what a great play. It's beautiful. Let's roll the tape. Look for a hook and ladder. Hook and ladder in. Gotta get rid of it. Throw it up there. Kellogg's throw. It's gonna be tipped and caught! It's caught! It's caught! It's a touchdown, Wester Camp! It was caught, and it was nice to see Northwestern lose. Yeah, and oh man, Ron Kellogg chugging down the field. Just great. Pat Fitzgerald just stunned like, what happened? And just, oh, it's fantastic. And with that said, we head on to number two on the list. An FCS opponent comes in at number two. We got McNeese State, but what we really got is Amir Abdullah bailing us out. 20 seconds left on the clock, takes it to that house. I don't know if there's anything else to say. Let's just roll the clip. You need to look at Jordan Westerkamp in this position in the slot. Go to your, your guy you trust in this situation. He's been phenomenal. Just a four-man rush. Armstrong to the sideline. Here he comes, Abdullah. Wow. And Abdullah still on his feet. Lester Kent throws a block. Amir Abdullah all the way home. Touchdown, Nebraska. <laughs> himself to spring Abdullah for those final yards. You think Abdullah was going to let his team down or let him go down this way? What a spin move. You can't take him down. He was so fun to watch. 
And thank goodness he was on our team or we might have taken an L to McNeese State. And Dude, that could have made our list. Abdullah had the best celebrations, man. Oh, he did. Like, just like, like against Miami, like the, ooh, Abdullah's great. He had so much, so much swag. Absolutely yeah. classic. You love to see Amir and he had to make the list, oh, yeah. obviously. So guys, at number one, it's a play. It's a play. It's a play. Josh, I, it's a little <laughs> underrated. That you know, a lot of you are like, man, that that Ron Kellogg Hail Mary should have been first. Man, this guy sucks. He's not a good quarterback. Taylor Martinez though had some plays, and this one was the best of him. His run against Wisconsin in that fateful Big Ten championship. <laughs> in the fateful Big Ten championship, which we talked about in our previous video. I mean, he made the list of the most depressing games. But at this point in the game, it was we a still gem. we had it was a gem, and we still had a chance at this point. And Taylor Martinez gave us some false hope. Without further ado, let's roll the tape. It's an incredible play. Number one on the list. Let's go. Martinez in trouble. Reverses. Trying to break contain. Martinez up the sideline. Still running. Look at him. Taylor Martinez. What a run. He's got a lane. Martinez. Wow. Taylor Martinez. Touchdown Huskers. What an athlete. 76 yards! This defines a great player. When everything that the defense does suggests victory for them on that play, and you solve it anyway. If we won that game, that play goes down in Husker history. Seriously. It's on the board every time that That's we so step true. in for hype videos. It's really sad we couldn't pull that one away because that is one of the best Husker plays that of all time yeah, that we've ever seen. Yeah. It, like legitimately, if we won that game, it would go down as like a top five Husker play of all time, let alone, you know, of the decade. And it, it, it's a hundred percent deserves to be the number one play of the decade. It's unreal. I mean, yeah. for him to run like backwards and like, it's basically a 95 yard touchdown. Like if he would have got tackled after he like got past the line of scrimmage, it would have been an impressive play, let alone for him to go all the way to the house. Oh, yeah. Insane guys. So that wraps up the top 10 plays. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a lot of hype. We wanted to do this one a little bit later after the depressing one because it's like, you know, you follow up the depressing, sad top 10. With some good stuff. With some good stuff. What do you guys think is the top 10 play in the in the Husker decade? Did we miss one? Did you think there was some? Obviously, we, we also had some honorable mentions we had to cut out as well. Oh, my. Seriously. There's so many good ones. I mean, obviously, Jack Hoffman. He's the one that's mm -hmm. worth mentioning of on the list. I mean... The heartwarmingness, like obviously as well, like the the memorial to Sam, Sam Foltz was a top tip play, and there was top actually good, you know, other highlights as well. Yeah, drop all your thoughts down below. What what was a scam? Something that we missed? Drop that down below. And what was your favorite play? Did we get it wrong? Did we get it right? Everything else? Drop all your comments down below. With that said, as always, I'm Josh. That's Caleb. This has been Backseat Sports, and we will see you next time. Bye bye. See ya.